if I were to write a list of the top 10 greatest British films ever, I don't think Notting Hill would actually be in that list, but certainly I think it would come very close. This was released in 1999, I think I saw it for the first time in maybe 2014. I've seen it a few times since. Uh, directed by Roger Mitchell and written by Richard Curtis, with a brilliant cast, starring primarily, of course, Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant. And this is certainly quintessential British. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the description from IMDb is one sentence, and I think it sums it up really well. And this says, The life of a simple bookshop owner changes when he meets the most fabulous film star in the world. So... William Thacker is our small bookshop owner, played by Hugh Grant, and Anna is our world-famous star, played, of course, by Julia Roberts, and she fits into the role very well. What I particularly like about this character, the character of Anna, is that she's not stereotypical. She is world-famous. There are, you know, there are paparazzi are all around her, all eyes are on her, but she's not stuck up. And I'm not saying that everybody who is world-famous is, but often in films, that's how they're portrayed. But that's not the case here. And I think that was really good, perfect casting. The film is all about what relationship they may end up having. It is a rom-com. But is it possible for somebody like Anna to fall in love with and sustain a relationship with an average Joe called, called William? I don't know why his name was relevant there. But William, is it is it... Could they ever be in a relationship? Would that ever work? It really makes you question social status and, you know, bringing together people from different walks of life. And we've seen it work many times before. There are perhaps things going on in the world just now with unnamed members of the royal family who are a little bit too divided. It's really interesting to see it unfold in this film. I thought it was pretty unpredictable. Certainly as it got towards the end, I really wasn't sure which direction it was going to be taken, which was brilliant, because that meant that it kept me on my toes. It's a very sweet film. Hugh Grant, obviously fantastic. Uh, quite a big fan of his. There isn't anything about this film that I don't like at all. It's sweet, it's lovely, It's you know the dialogue's good. It was filmed partly in Nottingham, which is good, because there were many films named after a place and they're not filmed anywhere near it. Um, if you have a look at the description on IMDb, it was filmed at Portobello Road. It was filmed on Ken in Kenwood House um, in Hampstead, just up the road from where I live. Pretty great set of filming locations. Uh, I imagine a lot of London would have been swarming at the time because there are some pretty you know, high quality places there that must have cost a fortune. The film's budget was apparently $42 million and apparently... It grossed worldwide $363 million. So it's done very well for itself financially. Same with feedback. Metascore of 68. IMDb rating of 7.1 out of 10. It is a beautiful film. As I said, it probably wouldn't make my top 10. Because it was sweet. It was warm. It was fuzzy. Well cast. Well directed. Well written. Well acted. But for me, it was just lacking that little something to make it a little bit more funny. It wasn't laugh out loud funny. And I think that it could have just taken it to another level. I think it was a tiny bit too serious. But that's just what I was looking for with this film. It is still great. If you haven't seen Notting Hill and you like British films, definitely watch this. If you haven't seen Notting Hill and you don't mind a British film, give it a go and let me know what you think. Also, let me know your favourite Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant films. Notting Hill is one that I will happily watch again.